Perhaps you are a beginner to CSS and wondering if you should use flex or grid for your layout. Or perhaps you have heard the popular statement saying to use flex for 1D layout and grid for 2D layout. In this video, I will show you the difference between flex and grid and when to use which, so you can confidently use the suitable one for your project. Let's start by debunking the common myth about flex and grid being limited to 1D and 2D layouts. We would be using the following as base HTML and add the following CSS to make the bounds of the element visible. This is what we get. On adding display flex to the CSS, the element align themselves in a row. Plugging in one more property to the CSS. The elements that cannot be fitted in the first line jump to the next line and the myth that flex can be used for 1D layout only goes down the drain. Even though adding display grid to the CSS changes nothing. As soon as we add grid auto flow to column, the elements align themselves in a row. And we have debunked this myth too. CSS grid focuses on precise content placement. Each item in a grid cell lined up along the horizontal and vertical axis. If you want to accurately control the position of items within a layout, CSS grid is the way to go. Whereas Flexbox focuses on content flow rather than content placement. Widths or heights of the flex items are determined by the content of the item. Flex items grow and shrink according to their inner content and the available space. With the flex wrap, you might have noticed that the elements only take up as much space as they require. This is not the case with the grid. On adding the following CSS, we find that all the elements have the same width regardless of their content. They also share the same height as all the elements in a particular row. The ideal use case for Flexbox would be when you want to display items without taking up equal space, like in a navbar. Grid can be used to display items like cards where each element should have equal spacing. It can also be used to create masonry layouts where the items are laid out in a grid but the items expand beyond a single row or column, which can be done by adding a few CSS properties to the child elements.